Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Saturday, August 24th, 2019. Free pick coming up in preseason football and college football is here. It starts tonight. We get college football every single weekend now up until, well, into December. And I'll get to all of that in just a moment. First, a quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, real cool way to give it a trial run. Just click on the link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account. Use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or or anybody else on the roster for that matter over at DocSports.com. Real cool way uh, to give DocSports.com a trial run. $60 free account. Get started by clicking on the link below this video. Also, quick note again, we've been telling you about the Doc Sports Journal. 160 pages of back-to-back, -back, or I should say cover-to-cover -cover information in the Doc Sports uh, Journal. And uh, listen, it's only 11 bucks. It's got all the games scheduled out for you nicely in rotation order. And uh, you can keep track of all the games throughout the course of the season. And this one book, 160 pages of information, you get last year's results. You get to find out what the final scores were, a quick look, and you see how many first downs each team got, rushing yardage, passing yardage, rushing attempts, passing attempts, all that good stuff. How many turnovers each team committed if they did, and how many were interceptions, how many were fumbles, all that good stuff in this handy pocket uh, Doc Sports journal that's been around now for 48 eight seasons in a row. Don't miss out. It's only 11 bucks. You can grab it at DocSports.com. Check out how to order on the homepage or simply Google Doc Sports Journal and uh, you'll be able to order it over that when that pops up on the Google search. Real quick note on this and how it works. I mean, you look up, you know, August 24th, let's say tonight's game between Arizona and Hawaii. And not only will you have the, the little block there where you can put in your notes and you can put in what the scores were or lines, whatever your, uh, floats your boat as far as the four spaces that are considered next to each game. Some people like to put in how teams scored over their quarter, uh, each quarter of the game. But there's a little footnote on games that have a reason for footnotes, like this one, Arizona and Hawaii. And the footnote on the Arizona-Hawaii game tonight says to turn to page 118 and check out the second trend on page 118, trend number two. So you go to page 118, you look at trend number two, and you'll see that the Hawaii Warriors have lost for the last six at home to Pac-12 teams, but they've covered all six. It'll also put in parentheses that none of those six came against these Arizona Wildcats. So just kind of something cool you can use. It's a great little pocket, again, handbook, 160 pages of information and schedules in the NFL and in college football. Real nice, quick reference guide that you can carry with you anywhere. Uh, again, you can check it out on the homepage at DocSports.com. All right, here's what we got going for Saturday. Last night, I split. I didn't play any football last night, either one of the games, but uh, uh, we did play baseball. We did play WNBA. One again in WNBA as we're now 34, 16, and 2, 68% with our big run in the WNBA. Unfortunately, no games on Saturday in the WNBA. The league has the day off. Plenty of games on Sunday, and I've got a couple earmarked, at least one, uh, for a potential big play, and we'll tell you more about that on Sunday's video. As far as baseball is concerned, I do have baseball on Saturday. It will be available 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. It is a Saturday night knockout. It is backed by a pair of 100% spots. Those are included in the write-up along with the analysis on the game. And again, that will be available Saturday, 11.30 a.m. Uh, Eastern time at DocSports.com. Also, uh, listen, if you include our free play from the other night here on the New England Patriots, we're 5-2 and two this season in preseason football. And that winner there, 4-2 and two with our premium picks in preseason football. And I've got one NFL premium side available right now over at DocSports.com. As we look to win again, go to 5-2 and two with premium plays, 6-2 and two overall. And uh, also going to give you a free pick in NFL preseason in just a second. I'll tell you this much, uh, I'm, I'm, I've always been a big preseason advocate as far as from a betting perspective. We've always done pretty well. Uh, this is probably the least amount of games that I've had. After today, it'll be, what, seven premium plays, eight overall. Probably the least amount I've ever had in a preseason. And I got to tell you, I'm ready for a week or two of preseason to be cut off and for another couple of games to be added to the regular season schedule. Uh, we're not seeing the same thing out of coaches. Some of them just don't care, not even what has traditionally been the dress rehearsal week. But uh, we've managed still to go five and two with our free and premium plays combined. Let's make it six and two uh, with Saturday's premium play at DocSports.com and then seven and two with our free play that we're about to give you here. In fact, let's get to it. It is the battle 
uh, between the Seahawks and the Chargers. Most shops, the Seahawks, I've got about 18 sports books on my computer screen in front of me, and most sports books have Seattle minus three. Go lay the three is what I'm recommending if you agree with this play and this analysis that I'm about to give you. First of all, you know about Pete Carroll. He, he cares about winning dress rehearsal weeks normally. He's on this great 34 and 16 preseason run. He wins, what, seven of the last eight. He's been able to get it together and get the job done in, in week three of preseason play and I expect to see more of the same in this one uh, at the same time as far as the Chargers as far as Lynn their coach is concerned I, I, I don't think they could care any less about this particular game you're not going to see starters in there the offensive line is banged up you don't want to take a chance of getting Phillip Rivers hurt and then you got nothing for the rest of the season so I think over the course of this game you're going to see Seattle be able to cover this point spread move away a little bit from the Chargers and get the cover and that's what we're recommending here the free play on the Seattle Seahawks minus the points. Again, Pete Carroll loves preseason dress rehearsal week. He goes out to win, and I just don't think the Chargers are going to show much. I don't think you're going to see too many starters, and I think Seattle will get the win by more than three in this particular game. And again, don't forget the premium play is over at DocSports.com. You can grab it for Saturday's NFL right now as we speak. Baseball available in the morning, passing both the college football games on Saturday. I just don't see enough of an advantage in either game to jump inside or total Florida, Miami, uh, you're talking about Florida being a seven-point favorite. That total down to as low as 46 in some spots. Remember when this game first was posted, as far as lines were concerned, there was one offshore book that put a 54 on the total in this one, and unfortunately, that came down in a hurry and has continued to steadily do so. But again, down to as low as 46. The side is anywhere from seven to seven and a half. Uh, again, and as far as that late game, Arizona and Hawaii, you're talking about Arizona being mainly an 11-point favorite, some 10 and a half out there that total 73 and a half I guess if I got involved I'd probably look to play the over in that game if Khalil Tate is what he was two years ago Arizona is going to be a tough nut to crack that offense at least but Hawaii's got some weaponry also like the kid at quarterback they've got nice skill people around them and we know that Hawaii can get the ball up and down the field we just don't know if they're going to be able to hold the opposition from big plays making big plays they were one of the worst in college football last year giving up the big play even though their record improved overall so Listen, again, I just don't think there's enough of an edge, at least for my power rating sides or totals on either one of these two college football games for Saturday. I definitely will be in action next week, no doubt about it. We've already got our games handicapped and earmarked and ready to go. But again, on Saturday, preseason football at DocSports.com, along with Major League Baseball. Don't miss out. I'm Scott Sprites or DocSports.com. If you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We'll be right back here Sunday, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. Let's put Saturday in the win column.